This is Coach Chris Holtman. You're listening to Drive the Lane Podcast. Drive the Lane Podcast. Recording Sunday night after a crazy Iowa-Illinois finish. And of course, at the beginning of the Big Ten Tournament week. We know that the Big Ten Tournament is going to be crazy. If you don't think Northwestern will be holding that trophy up at the end come Sunday, then you don't know Big Ten basketball. Of course, we are sponsored and presented by High Street Tees. We're hoping to see some Drive the Lane shirts at the Big Ten Tournament. We may be sporting them. We may not. Come say hi to us to find out if we are. You want your own Drive the Lane shirt? Because why wouldn't you? Head on over to High Street Tees' site, highstreettees.com slash DTL. Put in our chromo- promo code DTL15 for 15% off your entire order, and you're going to get 15% off your entire order, just like I said. You can use that on Drive the Lane shirts, Mama's Passing Brew, Buckeye Donuts. I know usually we only name those three, but there's a lot, lot more. We don't want to spoil it. It's called a headline. It's called lead. Go to highstreettees.com slash DTL. Use our promo code DTL15. Come up to us at the Big Ten Tournament wearing our shirts and take a picture with us in our shirts. Shirtception. Buckle up. And let's drive the lane. All right. After a very, very eventful Sunday in the Big Ten Conference, would you expect anything less than the last game going down to the buzzer in what has been a crazy Big Ten season with Iowa and Illinois? while we waited as Ohio State fans to see our fate. I want to start Whether this we'd off, be a five or a six. I want to start this off by officially congratulating half of the Big Ten for winning the Big Ten regular season title. I think it's time to end the, the ties. What do you think? How, that, no. What? I think it's ridiculous. There's Wisconsin's no, the one seed. Whatever happened that they are the one seed. It makes them win the Big Ten. They have the same they record. Should, they should be the outright no. Big Ten champs. I think it's no. dumb that no. that so many teams get a banner. Imagine if multiple teams won the national championship. It just doesn't It doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, the tournament, but the season is I fine. Know. I don't like it. It's fine. You'd like it if Ohio State was tied with people. I wouldn't care if Ohio State was one of four teams to tie for the Big Ten regular season championship. I, hey, in my four years, there was one tie in the four years, and it was just one of, like, it doesn't, it's not that, I mean, the Big East had, has ten teams, and three of them are tied for the first. Yeah, congratulations. First. Ross, John Rothstein would hate it. He, tweet, he tweeted to only put five guys on your first <laughs> team all-conference teams. That was so funny. When It was like he wrote a paragraph and signed it America. I love when he does that. And someone responded, put it on a t-shirt, John. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but um, yeah, we got the Big Ten tournament coming up. This is yeah, what it yeah, looks it's, like. Ohio State did not play today. They didn't play today, so it's fine. We were locked into the seventh seed regardless. Ohio State did not play Michigan State today on their senior night. I didn't see it. I, Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's take another thirty seconds. Another Michigan State senior is checking out of the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that I was, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's kissing the Spartan. Hold on, please be respectful. It's incredibly disrespectful, Joseph. That I uh, I will say okay, that ahead. that all, although I when I was a player I was just like oh my god for the love of God get Today out of the cool. game. Today watching it I was like this is pretty cool. <laughs> Here, have they ever done that in a loss? I mean I'm sure I've never seen it. Well yeah because they never lose at home on senior night. I tweeted about it all week. There's no, I mean they ha- Ohio State's beaten them like twice I think on senior night. Do they actually. always play the last game of the year? It's what it seems like honestly. It's so god dang annoying. Did you play them every time? Two out of my four years on senior night. Denzel Valentine, senior night. Yeah, we're going to win on Denzel Valentine, senior night. Just like everyone, just like we were going to win on Cassius Winston, senior night. I was saying it the whole game. Me and my dad were watching. I said, we could get, we could be tied. We could be down two with the ball. It doesn't matter. We were never going to win that game because there was something in Michigan State that day. I think Dan Dockage coined it. There are some nights you're just not going to win in the Breslin Center. There are some nights you're not going to win in Assembly Hall. Some nights you're not going to win at Mackey. Those are the three places in the Big Ten where there are some nights you walk in there, you're not winning. Tonight... No. It was one of those nights. Yeah. So, oh, it happens. Hold on, hold on. Another senior is checking, <laughs> checking out the game. Um, I will also say I have to give a shout-out to um, my really close family friend, basically consider her my cousin, Lizzie Marks, um, who landed from out of town 
on today. We're recording this on Sunday. On Sunday, 20 minutes before tip, Ubered straight to the arena, scalped a ticket, came into the game, snuck into the is zone because she wanted to see Cash Swenson's last game. That's pretty cool. Wow. And wow. Uh, I got to give that shout out. Matt Marks, who is his, her brother, told me that. Lizzie didn't tell me that. And uh, their, their father recently passed away, who was a big, big sports fan, big Spartans guy, big Packers fan, all that good stuff. So clearly, she made him really proud today. But I thought that was a very cool story because that's something, you know, you don't hear that all the time. Like, people of college, people care so much about college sports. That's what makes college sports so cool. So Cassius Winston, obviously, one of the best Spartans to ever play his senior night. He deserves all the, you know, accolades that he'll get this season because he, he won't be the Big Ten Player of the Year, but he might be the best point guard. He might win Bob Cousy for the best point guard, which I'm sure every other year that's the Player of the Year in the conference. Well, yeah, because every other year the guy that scores 18 <laughs> a game is yeah. the Player of the Year. Luka Garza has 17 straight games, either 16 or 17 straight games um, with 20 points. That's insane. It's a lot of points. That doesn't happen in the Big Ten. No. It does you, not happen in the Big Ten. Because you averaged 18 and a half. So the Big Ten tournament is coming up this week. We will be in attendance for... I'll some, be there for everything. Zolden will be back and forth because he's a world traveler. I'll be back and forth between there and my home office in L.A. <laughs> and, um, and by L.A., you mean Skokie, Illinois. Yes. But I will be back and forth. Hopefully, I will be there on Sunday for the Big Ten Championship. But first... It'll be fun. Michigan State versus Illinois, <laughs> that'll be a great game. But first, Purdue. Let's uh, let's go game by game. Do you, you want to go, go, go Ohio State's path, or do you want to go the whole tournament, or do you want to go well, team by team? Well, let's go... We can go whole tournament because Ohio State's yeah, and not then we'll in talk, the first and then we'll round. Talk, we'll, talk, we'll go whole tournament and include Ohio State, like unbiased initially in yeah. there and then look at their path. Yeah. So all right. Minnesota Northwestern. Who cares? I Minnesota will win. Northwestern stinks out loud. I even though they both think bo- Minnesota had nineteen threes today. I think I don't care. <laughs> That's yeah, what I, I think. it doesn't matter who that, that doesn't matter. The next game Indiana, if they don't beat Nebraska, then they don't deserve to be in the tournament. They have It is in the state lines of Indiana. Indianapolis, of course, in Indiana. It'll still be should empty. be a win. Still be empty. Should be a win for Indiana though. <laughs> I will before I, okay. We haven't really started talking about the tournament. Indianapolis the should tournament. host the, the Big Ten tournament every other year. They should switch to Chicago every single year. Gotta the, throw, by you far, gotta throw Rutgers a bone. No, what? Stop. <laughs> um, by four years, I had four different places for the Big Ten tournament, which is cool, but not cool because, like, even like the West Coast Conference guys, the WD, the WCC guys that I am friends with, they every year they know they're going to Vegas. Like they talk about, let's get to Vegas and make a run in Vegas. Like. It's like a year by year theme, whereas yeah, the Missouri Valley Conference Arch Madness, Arch Madness every year. Let's go to so St. Louis, cool. exactly. Definitely like, didn't win a hundred dollars on Bradley today. <laughs> um, <laughs> Definitely wasn't two hundred. And, <laughs> and then um, you know, like the Big East, always in Madison Square Garden, like that is really cool. So why not have it in it, uh, two places? Indianapolis is the best place by far for a Big Ten tournament. You, everything is downtown. You can walk downtown. You can park downtown. It's not like Chicago where it's billions of things happening. If the Big Ten tournament is in Indy, the city revolves around the Big Ten tournament, which is really, really and, cool. And also, as cool as the Big Ten is, it's not overwhelmingly crowded either. Well, it's when not, it's in Indy, it is. It's it's crazy. Like Yeah, no, they are psycho. All right, I'll see. Yeah, you will see. It, by far, the best atmosphere was in... Uh, was in uh, Indy. All right, so let's the worst get... was by far DC. That was terrible. Let's so, get... okay. So Wait, we'll... where in DC? The Wizard Stadium. Uh, yeah, that's not well, my sophomore year. Was terrible. Sounds awful. Okay, so Northwestern Minnesota. Who cares? I guess Minnesota, Indi- Indiana. I say Minnesota. Win- Minnesota and Indiana win the playing game. So yeah, and if and if Indiana that. doesn't win, they can't make it in the tournament, and they have to win two games. I think to to be safely in the tournament. Well, Joe Sesame Street Lenardi. That is the. Th- I c- <laughs> I've had to, we've had to cut out stuff I've said about Turgeon, and that's well documented. And I know he's a great coach and whatever. Is he a great coach? Who, whatever. He's a Big Ten champion. Turgeon the Sturgeon. He's a Big Ten champion, regular season champion. Um, well, everyone is. I know. <laughs> so I won't talk about Turgeon. Archie Miller, though, former Ohio State assistant. Something about him I just cannot stand. It's nothing personal. I just wouldn't want to play for the guy. Like, 
You know, you know what solves you being on the bubble and talking about Lenardi? Winning, games. winning games. That's what not going. Got, is that what Gottlieb said? Everyone probably yeah. said that. I don't go, f- don't lose eight of your last twelve or whatever they lost. Yeah. Last year they went on a ten game losing streak, and he thinks they should be in the tournament. If you go on a ten game losing streak and you don't win your conference tournament, you shouldn't be allowed to be in. I agree that Lenardi said some bullshit where your team should be over five hundred in conference, and you have to whatever, whatever. Like, no. It's yeah. also not. It's also like Lenardi's opinion to say his opinion, and he is paid to talk about the tournament. He's you, all, it's like also an opinion. He's not. He's yes, not it, the decision maker. Exactly. The, if the, the, if you don't get in and the committee says sorry because Indiana wasn't five hundred in their conference, then okay, then attack the committee members. Right. But Lenardi, of Lenardi heard, is saying I don't believe that they should be in the tournament because they blah 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 blah. He's not saying they won't. And it's be in only the facts. It's only it's right. facts and his you know number system that he uses yeah. every single year, and he gets it ninety eight percent correct. So sorry, Indiana, 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 and your stupid <laughs> fans. Shout out McP. My shout buddy McPhee, shout out Pollock. Oh my God, exactly. I mean, shout out Mark Leonard. I mean, let's shit. move on because we could talk about yeah. Archie. We Ooh, always man. talk about Archie. People We've love about Archie with Mata. People love Archie. Like Diebler loves Archie. I thank my lucky stars every single day that Holman was my coach and not Archie. But Archie probably was a good assistant coach. I would bet. I if, bet you. If be they a good love him, coach. but if they love no, him, no, I know. I, I, I shouldn't talk about Archie. That's not fair because obviously he's a I'm great not cutting coach. It. It's too late. I know. Don't don't cut. <laughs> Keep it in. I. I just don't – I don't know. I don't see if he – I don't see that – I mean, I'm not the guy for Indiana for the future, but I don't think he is either. They – I'm going to find some stats while we move on. Yeah. There's some crazy stat where it's like – the la- it's like this. The last – since he got there, his um, a record in the Big Ten is like 1-4 and four in the Big Ten tournament. His record in the, in the NCAA tournament is 0-0. Zero and zero. <laughs> Like, there's a crazy stat. He's like the that. Harbaugh of, of college basketball. Except, except <laughs> That's worse. That's a stretch. I mean, uh, they're just non comparable. Anyway, they're non comparable. So let's go from the earliest game, which will be um, right, Rutgers, next Michigan. Day, Michigan, Rutgers. I think that'll be a good game. Yeah, I think Michigan wins. Yeah, Michigan has been sliding. Rutgers is coming off some good wins. They beat they beat Maryland at home, and then they beat um, Purdue on the road. But Michigan That's, is a Michigan is a tournament team. But and and before the season, you would have said, but are they a tournament team without Beeline? But then they won that. Tournament at the beginning of the year, so that gives me confidence. If you for them take, to get hot. if you take, that's okay. I will say this: that matters when you're playing like four games in four days, you know, or three or three games in three days. Or that yeah. first game, though, it's like a level playing field in terms of the tournament okay. mentality. Maybe you Fair know, enough. I see what you're saying, but I will also say that if you take away Rutgers the name and Michigan the name, and it's just those two rosters and stuff, like Rutgers is really stinking good. Yeah. And everything that Michigan does well, Rutgers also does well. They're both really good on defense. They both struggle to score at times. They both have huge bodies down low. You know, I don't know. I think, like, Geo Baker might be the difference. Like, that dude's really clutch, and he's big. And so what's your pick? Fuck Michigan. <laughs> I'll take Rutgers. All right, I take Michigan just to be different. Okay. And I've said this to you before. I like Michigan basketball. I like watching them. I, right. Because when they and get they're, hot, they're they, fun to And watch. they are a really good tournament team. The way they just – they're just that's just their history. Prop bet for you in the Michigan game. Xavier Simpson over under half jerseys tried to rip. Did you see he did it under. again today? He did it again today? Yeah. They called it. He was called. He went to the free throw line. He shot the first free throw, and then they reviewed it, and he pulled on a – Maryland player's jersey, and he didn't get to shoot the second free throw because he fouled out, and Teske had to shoot his second free throw for <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll pull it up after. Anyway, so, over under half? Zero. You no, still taking the under? the jersey. Well, it also, it doesn't have to actually rip. Oh. I mean a jersey grab when he goes. So, he's going to grab a jersey? I'd say over. He will grab over a jersey. Under, over under half. Attempted he rip He goes jerseys. to the free throw line, and they review it and realize <laughs> he committed the foul because it happened twice. Uh, under. Okay, under. All right, next game. Iowa versus, we said Minnesota wins. Iowa. I'll say this. Minnesota is a weird team, and every year there's a weird team that does well in the Big Ten tournament. Last year it was Nebraska. They won two games. I wouldn't be surprised if Minnesota, they have Oturu who can guard Garza. They have Marcus Carr who's, when he gets hot, there might not be anyone hotter. 
and Iowa struggles to defend, and Minnesota struggles to score sometimes, and they were hot as shit today. 18 threes. What's, what's Iowa ranked right now? <laughs> I don't know, 18 to 25? Well, okay, they're 18, and they, <laughs> just, and they just lost. Well, they don't do rankings anymore. I think they do. I think they do. No, when the when they're showing the big ten. Oh well, I, I think guess eight people no, will you're come right, out tomorrow. You're right because, and eight people will come out tomorrow. That's interesting. Okay, it doesn't really matter. They'll be right. twenty four. Right. Well, they'll they'll pro- did they lose both games this week? I don't, no, they won one. They, they didn't did. lose to Purdue. Oh, they did lose to Purdue, so they might be out. So they might be out. So I think they need to win that game to be in the top twenty five for for when March Madness happens. So I take Iowa, even though they. <laughs> I take <laughs> Iowa. Right, it's funny. I don't want to take the opposite of you, but. I'm going to take Minnesota. It's yeah. been a weird year in the Big Ten, so, why, I mean, let's yeah. make it weird. I'll take Iowa. Two upsets to Okay, start. Purdue, Ohio State. I'm taking Purdue. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave him a crazy look. I will uh, – let's – I we'll get into this game later, but we'll say this for now. Ohio State kicked the shit out of Purdue. That matters to Purdue, and Purdue is on a mission to – they got to win three games probably to be in the – they got to make it to the championship game probably. To be I also think there. it depends who they play. No, they have to – no, I'm saying they have to win – Three games to make it to the to the NCAA tournament, so right? But I think I think if they like beat Ohio State and beat Michigan State, and then beat Maryland, but don't, I guess that'd be winning three. That's yeah. So that you don't think <laughs> they have to win it? No, they don't have to win it. Okay, because then they'd have nineteen wins. It's a lot of wins, and yeah, they have and, and they, they have would have wins. won three they, straight ranked games. Yeah, and they've and they have they have they have good wins, and those are neutral courts, so they're all quad one. So, um, yeah, I will say so. We'll get into that game later, but Purdue scares me because they obviously went to the lead eight last year. They don't have the same pieces, but what's yeah, it's your Purdue. Pick? It's Purdue basketball. What's your pick? Well, I pick Ohio State. Okay. Um, Penn State, Indiana. Last game, Indiana at home. Penn State came back from like down twenty something, took the lead. Indiana came back and won. Devontae Green. Indiana. Gets hot. I'll counter that in a second. Indiana. Has to win that game probably to make it to to be safe. Indiana is a first half team. Archie's coaching for his job. India agreed. And Indiana is a first half team. Okay, the other day they scored twenty points in the first. Hold on, hold on. Wait, can I let me say this? When they played Wisconsin, is that what you're talking about? When they played Wisconsin. Yeah. So when they played Wisconsin, they're up twenty eight to twenty five at halftime. Yeah. My buddy, who I won't name, but he's already been mentioned on the podcast, texts me and says, "I love it. Devontae Graham's hot. When he's hot, we win." I said, dude, he has 16 of your 28 first half points. And he goes, well, Wisconsin was really hot. I said, they have 25 points. You're going to lose. Devontae Green does not score in the second half, and they lost. Yeah. So, Indiana, they do go as Devontae Green goes. That's a fact. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have a guy who scores 17 points in the first half and you're up by, like, five at half? but then he does what Devontae Green did in the second half? Or would you rather have a guy that gives you like 8 to 10 a half? I think I'd rather have the 8 bam- to 10 a half? Yeah. Then, then like a guy, like in one game, in one game, Dwayne Washington can either heat up, get seven, get 17 in the first half, Dwayne Washington, okay? Or non- 8 and 8. Non-factor in the second half. Nah, that's bad. Right, I, I'm taking the 8 and yeah. 8. Because who knows when you're getting those points? Who knows what the other team's doing? All right, so Penn State or Indiana? Just so we can finish our bracket. I hate both those teams. I'll take Indiana. They finally get a big one. I'm taking Indiana, too. I think this is his second shout-out. Indiana! Indiana! Turn off my mic. Turn off my mic. Best fight song in the Big Ten. That's Michigan State. Pollock, Pollock's going to come with me if Indiana beats Nebraska to come to the game with us. So Pollock in the building. I don't think Indiana goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Pollock. All right. Uh. So now we're, and now we're in the Elite Eight. Okay, first game in the Elite Eight. Congratulations to the Ohio State Buckeyes on making the Elite Eight. As I predicted before the season. Congratulations. Uh, Michigan versus Wisconsin. Battle of the North. We the North. Michigan gets hot in March. I'm taking Michigan. I hate Wisconsin. Well, this is what I think. This is I th- took Rutgers. This, so. Well, this is what I think happens. I think if Rutgers wins, Wisconsin wins. But if Michigan wins, I think they're they're beating Wisconsin. Okay, I'm going to take Wisconsin. Not okay. for what you just said, but because 
They've won eight straight games. They're hot. Yeah, I'm taking Michigan. But if Michigan wins, I think Michigan could win, too. You yeah. I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. You're so you Michigan? know what's going to happen, right? Rutgers is going to beat Wisconsin. Beat Wisconsin. Yeah. I'm taking Michigan. So now I have, I'll Michigan take Wisconsin. In, now I have Michigan in the final four. Okay, I'll take Wisconsin. Okay, we'll tweet these tomorrow. You'll tweet these tomorrow. You'll send me yours. <laughs> um, I'll, we'll make brackets and we'll like circle what we think. Yeah, with like a with our finger on the screen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, Illinois. Did we say Iowa for both? Did we both say Iowa? No, I answer? said I said Minnesota. Um, we lost the bracket because Zoldan's texting. I'm texting my bookie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out, BG. Right. Um. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Minnesota versus. Yeah, just Illinois, roll me over to Illinois. next week. <laughs> Illinois. Um. Yeah. Minnesota. Stop clicking on the notification. Keep getting clicked you. out. Turn your phone on. Do not disturb, like I do for the podcast. Okay. All right. I'm t- no, it's it's Illinois versus Minnesota for me. I'm taking Illinois. No, no, it's Illinois versus. Oh, you took Minnesota yes. over Iowa. Yes. Okay, Iowa, Illinois. Isn't it amazing that a lot of the teams are that are going to play have played really recently? Like, if we win, we'll play Michigan yeah. State. If yeah. Iowa wins, up. I'm taking Iowa. I think neutral court. Garza. Nudie court. Nudie court. Garza gets it done. Okay, so we have two different teams so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But that's Both what March. That's teams. what March is all Mar- about. Because what's the r- calendar has shifted, ladies and gentlemen? This is March. You know what March makes me think of? Izzo. Oh, no. Kind of. That sound can be associated with March when like a 15 seed beats a two seed. Okay. All right. Turn it off. <laughs> uh, okay. So, game? yeah, we have two different teams in our final fours. In our final fours. All right. Michigan State, Ohio State. Ohio State. Here's what I'll say. And you can say whatever you want. We match up pretty darn well with them. It just so happens that today we run into the stinking buzzsaw that is Cassius Winston, one of the best players to ever play at Michigan State, his senior night. Not only is it his senior night, they're playing for the Big Ten Championship. A huge not honor. Only a huge the, honor this year. Not only is it the Big Ten Championship, Luther Muhammad and Andre Wilson have four fouls with nine minutes left in the game. I mean... I... I is this you taking Ohio State? I'm just saying. Just saying. Holtman knows how to beat them. He's proven he can beat them. Okay? When they had an even better team than this year. I'll say this. Kyle Young's back by then. That would be a huge plus. Who knows when he'll be back. A lot of you guys asked me if he'll be back. He's hurting. Clearly. He's hurting. And Holtman even said if this was the Super Bowl, he still wouldn't have been able to play today. True. So... But that's because he's not a football player. I was just about to say that, but I thought you were going to get annoyed with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll say this, and you guys take it for whatever it's worth. Ohio State is playing Michigan, Wis- Michigan State, Wisconsin, Ohio State are playing the best ball of any teams in the Big Ten right now. Ohio State, Maryland and Illinois look pretty good. I know we Maryland, just beat Maryland both Maryland just lost we, three or four. I know we just that's beat both of those teams, but no, I'm that's but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> so we trump them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but. I'm so I'll say this. Cash Swinson obviously is incredible. Michigan State's awesome. They're playing great, but so are we. And on a neutral court, I think that there is Caleb Wilson will have something to prove because he got just Bullied. manhandled by Xavier Tillman today. I don't know. Rocket Watts isn't going to bake in two threes in the first half again to give them a huge lead. You know, like there was a lot of stuff that went really, really, yeah. really right for them, and we still hung in there until there were five minutes left, and that's when kind of Cash just was like, you know what? This is my senior night. In case you guys forgot. I'm going to kiss that Spartan for 15 seconds, and there's nothing you're going to do about it. And we're going to raise a banner. So my, I'm going to Ohio State just because uh, how can I not say Ohio State? Okay, fair. I'm going to Michigan State. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next game. No, 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 let me tell you why. Wait, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Someone's kissing the voice. No, there's subs being brought in for senior night for Michigan State. No, I'm taking Michigan State. I think they're the, they're the best team in the conference, and that will be shown in this tournament. Taking Michigan State, they're they're going to do the best in March Madness. So I see yeah. what you're saying. I'm taking Michigan State. I think I might have Illinois and Michigan State in my Elite Eights, if not Final Fours of Big Ten, or of my uh, obviously Big Ten, not not obviously because I just yeah. didn't pick them, but NCAA tournament. All right, last game of the Elite Eight: Maryland, Indiana. <laughs> this is a tough one. I hate both those teams too. Yeah, Maryland's going to win. I think I'm I'm going Maryland, and we all need to. That 
It's there's no point in getting into those games because they might not happen. Yeah. So I mean, they've been one of the best teams in the Big Ten all year. Th- see, the only thing about that is if Indiana's in that game, it means they've won two in a row and they're probably hot. And yeah, but someone, they're also tired, and that's Maryland's first game. But also, someone is probably really like one player is probably really playing well because that's really what you need in these tournaments. Is you need like a Devontae Green, Devontae to, be Green to be really hot or a Trey Jackson, Trace Jackson Davis to be. But can he do that? I don't know. I'm picking Maryland just because it's easy. Yeah. So I have Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio State, Maryland. Yeah, I have Michigan, you have the same, Iowa, you have Michigan three. State, Maryland. <laughs> All right. So I'll go. I'll go All Illinois right. over Wisconsin, Ohio State over Maryland, Ohio State over Illinois. We're cutting down the nuts. You think that's the nas- the, g- the championship? Yeah, I'm a homer. What can I say? All right, I'm going. In my if I in my heart of hearts, I so I'll before we get into that, those are my picks. But in my heart of hearts, I will say Michigan State. They of course they're going to be favored to win. So then I would have Michigan State over Maryland, Illinois over Wisconsin, Michigan State winning. Whoever wins our game, Michigan State, Ohio State. If we're if we beat Purdue. Will win the tournament. That's what. That's yeah. What I, I I I think, I think Michigan beats Iowa, and Michigan State beats Maryland, and it's a Michigan final. Dun, dun, was that dun. what it was last year? And was it the no? Was it wasn't it Purdue? No. Two years ago. Uh, it, the year in MSG, my junior year at Purdue was in the finals. I think it was Purdue Michigan two years ago, and I think last year was Michigan, Michigan State Michigan, Michigan State. State. Yep, and Michigan, Michigan State, State, State beat them three times that year. Yeah. So I think it's Michigan Michigan State again. Now knowing that that's what it was last year, I'm a little worried about that. But, but I say yeah, Mich- it's also you should be worried about the fact that Rutgers isn't going to beat Michigan. Right. Well, you should be worried about that that Rutgers isn't going to beat Michigan. You should. Yeah. <laughs> if I phrase, if I emphasized it differently, that sentence would make sense. But yeah. yeah so that's what I think was. That's my. Those are our March predictions. But again, like what you said, if everything goes according to plan and the top four seeds are in the final four. I'm going chalk. I'm going Michigan over. There's no way it's chalk. Or I'm going Michigan no State chance. over Illinois, like you said, if it's those four teams in the final four. Okay. All right. Let's get to the Buckeye games. First one, Ohio State. Purdue. You want a live update real quick? Yeah. Bruss just texted me back finally and said he was on vacation. So we were going to have Bruss on the show hopefully tonight, guys. Sorry we didn't. Should we call him right now? Is he back from vacation? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Anyway. Sorry. Just, well, let's. The only game we need to talk about is Ohio State Purdue. Yeah, but then we could all. And we kind of just talked about Ohio State Michigan. So Ohio State Purdue. Okay. Ohio State Purdue. Ohio. Well, yeah, we already talked about Ohio State Michigan State, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Fucking right into a buzz saw. Okay. Just wants to see you next time. Anyway. Uh, why do we get stuck playing those games every year? Because. Every year! Because they want it to be a good game. My junior year, last game of the season. Okay. Yeah, you're right though, because my freshman year we were at Michigan State. My sophomore year we were terrible, so I don't even remember who it didn't matter. My junior year we played at Indiana, and my senior year we played at Michigan State. It's like, come on, it's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Anyway, Purdue. Purdue does not scare me. Earlier, all. like five minutes ago, you said Purdue scares me. If I'm talking about. We're talking about Team of Destiny, Purdue. They're not, though. You know? So I you're was going be- back on what you said earlier. I'm not going back on what I said earlier. I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. That's why you could be afraid of Purdue, what I said before. Because they have to win games to get into the tournament. and They has to. Yeah, they just has to. They has to. That's has to. That's, <laughs> that's why you could be afraid of Purdue. I'm going on the record that I'm not. Because... As much as they're on a mission, so are we. And we are, we're trying to prove stuff. We're playing really, really good basketball right now. They just lost to Rutgers at home in a devastating loss. Matt Painter's awesome, but so is Holtman. I think that Travion Williams with Caleb Wesson, great matchup. I think beyond that, Boudreaux is so ridiculously, it's so weird that he's good. Boudreaux overrated? Not anymore, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they so have hold on, some I'm just looking, guards. I'm looking at the record right now. The record states I'm scared of Purdue and let the record show I am not scared of Purdue. Not scared of Purdue. So re- we're retracting the earlier scared of Purdue statement. I should have. <laughs> I sh- 
I agree with you. Not scared of Purdue. That's a dub. We didn't get to play them twice this year, but we'll be there. We'll beat them twice. I will, we will be there. We will be there. We'll I don't know Purdue. Purdue. If you get the Purdue that's making a bunch of threes in Mackey Arena, then yeah, I'm scared of them. But that's not what's happening. But the game's in Indiana. So then, is it a home game for them? No. They've already played in that arena once this year. Well, uh, we just need to wait and see what happens. <laughs> of course. <we'll, yeah. laughs> no, I, my official prediction, Ohio State wins that game by 5 to 10 points. On the record. You want to hear something fun about the Big Ten tournament when you win those games? You go... This is the same thing for the NCAA tournament. When you win the game in the tournament, there's a, there's a player's lounge with a buffet of food and cookies and drinks and pop and all this stuff that you get to eat. Then you go see your family. Then you go back to the hotel, and there's more food for you. It is, and then Are we going to get food access this year? No. <laughs> and then when you lose... Oh, it's so sad. But there's so much food for oh, you. Oh, you still get... Are you in the players' lounge with the... No, there's team? a losing side and a winning oh, side, which brutal. is so funny. So I think the Big Ten tournament should have what the TBT, what the TBT has, where you go and you slap your name on oh, the Oh, yeah, next no, the NCAA tournament does that. Every round? Mm-hmm. Just as big, where the players go and do Keyshawn, it? Keyshawn did it last year for us. But it's not as, before it's not as it big us. as the... Because, no, it, well, yeah, because it's, it's just a little region. It's just a little region thing. No, no, they have a big one. Like we smacked the. It wow. Was, there was. Wow. Yeah. Well, the Big Ten tournament needs it too. And they did it for girls, so I'm sure they'll do it for guys. For Big Ten tournament girls, yeah, they did it for girls. Okay. If you didn't know, if you didn't know, Ohio so, State made it to the championship for the girls. Lost to Maryland. Foreshadowing that we will make it to the championship. I saw where to, did Maryland win the regular season. Yeah, Duke. Maryland. Maryland tweeted out, "We're the first for the first time since 2009. Maryland has won the women's and the men's regular right, season and the women's ch- tournament right, championship." Okay, yeah. It would be cool though if Maryland wins the whole thing and then they win both and both. No, that it wouldn't be cool for us. It would be cool for them. Why do we care about that? True. All right, let's get to some questions. We posted earlier. If you have any questions, ask us. We'll answer them. First one. Put on your uh, right. I'm sorry, I'm just been shocked into learning that one of my buddies is a senior this year. I didn't think he was a senior. Well, put put in put on your athletic trainer hat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do we have any idea on Kyle Young's return to timetable? <laughs> no. Kyle's a really really tough kid. So if he hasn't been back yet, that means he's hurting. Schaffner, Josh Schaffner asked this question. <laughs> we think very highly of you, man. You know that. Just like you are our biggest fan, we are yours. This is a bad question. Not a good question. Not How good am I question. supposed to know that? And if I did know that, would I be able, would I tell you guys? Absolutely not. Not sure what your what your as I'm stalking your Twitter profile. Not <laughs> sure what your college uh, major, oh. what your college major will be. But if it's journalism, I got a question. I got a little lesson for you. Do not ask yes or no questions. That question was, do we know Kyle Young's return timetable? And that's a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Not what is Kyle Young's. So, Schaffner, we love you, man. But, terrible question. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. That's a good question, Schaffner. We we always appreciate you uh, chiming in. (laughs) I have nothing. I have nothing on Kyle. I would not. I would be surprised if he plays in the Big Ten tournament. I think he's hurting. I, I think he's hurt, and I really think he's hurt because you said to me a couple weeks ago, I think he doesn't play against – it was someone, but then plays against Michigan, and he didn't. So that makes me think that he's really Yeah, hurt. well, that was before I realized right. – Like He said – I saw him when because I, I was in Big Ten. I was – well, we should probably talk about senior night, Illinois, too. But um, it's, t- it's tough, though. We always talk about this. It's tough because it's a 24-hour news cycle. We're already yeah. so far from that game. So Okay, well, I'll say this first. When I talked to Kyle at that game, he said that it's been the worst ankle sprain he's ever had just because it's a high ankle sprain and it's just touching different parts of his ankle. Because he's a really tough kid and he's bounced back from injuries really quickly before, especially ankle sprains. So, yeah, that just makes me think that he's struggling, like he is hurt. But if we talk briefly before we get into questions, if we talk briefly about the Illinois-Ohio State game, one of the most electric atmospheres ever. So much fun. Happy that Danny Hummer got to score. Happy that Dre had a really good game. Really proud of E.J. Liddell because he is coming on so, so strong and turning into a surefire defensive first team next year and probably some kind of Big Ten honoree 
Um, and he, and if he's not a big, big Ten All Freshman team, I don't know who is. I'd like to pat myself on the back for I thought one of the best tweets I've ever had from the account. Ohio State saw a glimpse into the future tonight with EJ Liddell's 17 points and 11 rebounds, but the freshmen may just be exactly what they need for the present. What do we think of that? That's a great. T- I was gonna say, I was gonna say, my, you know, like a funny Twitter joke is like to say like my column here, yeah, but then like not actually post anything. Right. So I was gonna say like my column here, but I thought because we're Letterman Row, people were gonna be like, you forgot to put the link, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. So instead, I said, clever, right? Who photoshopped your meme today? Is it you? Shout out to my guy, tall guy, TG, from my roommate's intramural team, Eric Kaiser. Just a little disrespectful that you didn't just come right to me. Well, I didn't make it. He sent it to me. Oh, he sent it to you? Yeah, he submitted the meme. You didn't ask him? No, no, no. He submitted the meme. Submit the meme! Yeah, whoever submits. If you guys submit memes, I will tweet them out if they are relevant. That's for sure. Um... Back but to yeah, the questions. But that was so, that game was so much fun. And yeah. senior night speeches, Danny Hummer and Andre, combined speaking time was less than half of mine. So that's good. Yeah. Well, they're not speakers. Yeah. The, they're yeah. not Bose or Beats by Dre. Or JBL. That was so Or dumb. AirPods. <laughs> so dumb. All right. Next question. What's going on with... The- <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joey. What's going on with Alonzo Gaffney? I know as much as you guys know. I know that... He is sick. I know that he... Like, what up? He's sick. Oh, no, he's fat with a PH. Right. He's ill? I, yeah, but it's not contagious, Holman said. I don't know. It's a little confusing. I don't know what's going on. I, I really don't know what's happening, though. I'm, all right. I have a funny joke that's not that funny. Okay? With all the players who are hurt and in boots, they should change the mascot to Buddhist the Buckeye. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you know that's good. You know that's gold. Yeah, that's... You should Photoshop... A picture of Brutus with a walking, with a walking boot. Boot. <laughs> The new Ohio State mascot, Brutus the Buckeye. It would have been funnier a week ago. Now it's not as funny. But it's like, but we could. What does it say? We're good. Keep okay. going. Um, we, what we can do is when we get into the arena, you could tweet out a picture of those three. Or I could go find them and take a picture of them and say, Ohio State's new mascot, Brutus the Buckeye. And then tweet the picture of them, yeah. and then respond to it with the picture of Brutus Photoshop with the boot. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're we're just giving you guys a piece of our Twitter, you know. Yeah. So we don't know what's yeah. going on with the Lonzo Gaffney. No. Okay. Next question. I wish I could tell you. Next no question. Clue. Hey Joey. <laughs> None of these start with Hey Joey, but Hey Joey. Thoughts. This is a good one. This is a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on the clamps that Justin put on his brother at the end of the game. Oh my one God. sentence. This is a one sentence. Answer. When they came out of the, when they came out of the, <laughs> when they came out of the timeout, and it was just an ISO Kyle on Justin. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I stood up and started clapping because I'm really good friends with Kyle. Who did as well. you want? What did you want? I wanted Kyle to score. That'd have been awesome. Big brother, little brother. Yeah. Instead, he didn't even make a fucking move and passed the ball. It was yeah. so weird. Anyway, that good was awesome. D, good D by Justin. The sure. defensive specialist yeah, that Justin. Justin Arns, the defensive specialist. I, it was a really cool moment because they got some really cool pictures from that. Probably. Yeah. All right, next question. Hey, Joey. What's up, Joey? This is a this is a rough one. Okay. This is a rough one because okay. we just did this. Hurry, we come on. Thoughts on how we played? I think for 35, 32 minutes of the game, we were really, really good, and we weathered a lot of storms, and we were probably playing arguably better basketball than them for a lot of the games. I think positives to take away from that game are um, EJ is still – Riding that wave. Key J, also. CJ Walker is so unbelievably awesome, and that's about it. But there aren't going to be many games where we are in the game with Caleb making one shot from the field. So that's something that, that's just a little bit of positivity to take away from that. The overarching theme is that we aren't going to win on Cassius Winston's senior night when they are playing for the share of the Big Ten title. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Also, I will say this. Another thing that I will say, I will say this. Um, you say? When you say they played well for 32 minutes of the game, I don't think it was a 32. I don't think it was like the first 32 minutes they played well. No, there no, were bits and pieces yeah, where, yeah. you know, sometimes there are games where you're like, you know what, they played well for the first 35 minutes, then the last five minutes they t- they blew us out. It was like yeah. there were spurts where they looked really good. There were spurts where they would get down. And, you know, I was watching with my dad too, and he would say stuff like, cool. all right, let's get it to six here. 
let's get it to, f-, and they would, and they would do that. They would cut those. No, there were. Then I, they I, would. Yeah, I think I said that a couple of times, like that they were tying the game. Like it was tied 44-44, and then it was 46-46, 48-50. You know, we're right there. We couldn't get over that hump, and that's yeah. just like, what can you do? Some nights, like it just happens. So, last question. Uh, will hashtag the bully continue to wreak havoc? We can only hope in the Big Ten tournament. We can only hope that. We beat Purdue and Michigan State, and Maryland wins their game so we can get a rematch. Oh, oh, the bully. And we would wear the shit out of some bully shirts on that day. Yeah, we're getting the memes ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of funny stuff. I really would like an interaction between Caleb and Turgeon. Like a... Like a hand, no, like a I want like a, a snarky handshake. I want, inter- you know I I mean? want a Holtman because every before the game, the coaches shake hands. They say, "Hey, how's the fam? Hope the wife's good. Like, good, you guys playing some good ball this year. Like, keep it up, man. Like, I'm really impressed with how you're guarding this action and blah blah blah." They're gonna have to do that before the game, and Holtman's gonna be like, "Screw you." Yeah, he's gonna be like, "I love playing. Sturgeon I, I love t- playing nine Turgeon o'clock the games. Sturgeon. I love playing nine o'clock games, coach. Low what key, low key, that game would be dun dun dun. It wouldn't be a nine o'clock game. 9 o'clock really? p.m. Eastern. <laughs> yeah. And it's approximate because it's after the Michigan State game. So that can get pushed way back. No, not after the Michigan. Oh, Maryland's game against Indiana is a 9 o'clock game. Oh, you're right. We, You're right. Oh, oh, told it. you. Never mind. Well, that's still a 9 o'clock game. For, they're probably so pissed. I know. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to zoom in. 9 o'clock game. It's goofy. All right. Well, we just got sidetracked because we got excited about the 9 o'clock game. So I think that concludes yeah. this episode of the Drive the Lane Jeez. podcast. The final reg- regular season episode. Tech- I guess the regular season's over. But the final episode that you will listen to before the first game of postseason play. Even though postseason play is happening, not in the Big Ten. Big Ten postseason play. Should we talk- let's talk briefly before the Big Ten tournament. This will wrap it up. We, we kind of alluded to it already. What teams do you think will ride this? Will ride a wave, some sort of wave and momentum into March and be really successful in the Big Ten tournament or in the NCAA tournament? Not necessarily in the Big Ten tournament, in the NCAA tournament. What I teams, think we were gonna have ten teams in. Yeah, I think I think Michigan State and Michigan, if they, well, Michigan State regardless, but if Michigan ends up getting as far as I think they can, which really I think if Michigan can win two games in the Big Ten tournament. They'll be hot in March. Okay. And I think if Iowa can win a couple games in the Big Ten tournament, they can ride that into March. Because I, I think there's a chance that Iowa gets matched up in a favorable area where there's just no one that can match up with Garza in their region. I and hear that. that is and, and, big so t- and the Big Ten as a whole, that's fairly – the Big Ten basketball brand is huge. Because that, that's how we beat Iowa State. We were just out physical them. Yeah. And they've never seen it before. I agree with all the teams that you said. I love Illinois. Penn State will lose in the first round. You guys can book that. They'll lose in the first round. I think we lose five teams in the first round and five teams go for it. I think it's that could very well be true, but I'm leaning more towards I think a lot of teams will win and few will lose. I just think it would be crazy basketball. if in the round of 32 there's still 10 remaining Big Ten teams. Like That would be, that'd be That's a little true. ridiculous. I, you're right. The more just I think about odds it, wise. But I think that because we've all beaten each other up, we could all lose in the first round too. Besides true. State. Definitely. So... Illinois, In conclusion, Illinois, Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan, Iowa, they're all going to the Sweet 16, so that's exciting. The, the Final Four is going to be Iowa, Michigan Illinois. State, Illinois, Ohio State, National Championship. Illinois, is, Ohio is, State. <laughs> Ohio State wins it all. The Buckeyes are cutting down more nets. You heard it here first. I'm screaming and waking up my dad for Will sure. Michigan State get a share of the National Championship <laughs> if yeah. Ohio State beats Illinois in the sure. National Championship? Yeah, of course. All right. That's, Izzo, you know what month it is. It's Izzo. That concludes this episode of the Drive the Lane podcast. We we'll thank see you, guys you very in much Indy. for listening. We'll see you in Indy. Buckle up and drive the lane. Highstreettees.com slash DTL. Promo code DTL15. This is brought to you by... <laughs> Go Buckeyes. Go Buckeyes. Drive the lane.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Key with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.